Hi Capricorn, welcome to your mid-monthly December reading. I am Charlene Lozette and this is Raven. Raven, can you say hi hi? Hi. This may resonate with you if you have Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus in Capricorn. Willow's also on the floor as well. She's my German Shepherd. I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morrigan, to whom all my work is devoted and in honor of. Devoted to and in honor of. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what is going on with you. What is happening? How are we feeling here? You know, 2020 is it's not easy, right? We know this. We know this to be true. This has not been an easy road. And um, I think that this has been a year of very big learning lessons. I think the last few years have been massive growth, expansion, and learning opportunities. Um, we just finished one eclipse. We're walking into another one astrologically. And we also have uh, Jupiter-Saturn placements and uh, earnest placements as well. So, um, or earnest transits as well. So when, er, when things happen with earnest, um, earnest kind of is like light bolt action, right? Like things happen unexpectedly, good, bad, whatever. It, it just kind of happen. Um, and then Saturn is lessons to be learned, um, also ruled by you, um, Capricorn. And then we have Jupiter, which is expansion, growth, luck, expansion taking a break. You've had this theme, if you've watched my spirit messages and if you watched my monthly reading, you've had this theme of needing to take care of yourself, Capricorn. It's almost like the universe right now is saying, there's a reason there's a lull in your life right now, whether it be career, love, whatever that looks like, um, where you normally have this energy where you need to kind of be like, go, 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 go. The, the universe right now is saying, Take it easy. Take care of yourself. You know, you know, you're juggling a lot. Yes, we know you want new opportunities. We know you want abundance. We get it. You're Capricorn. You're always making your money, honey. You're always serious. You're always focused on growth, expansion. But this month and, and this theme has been recurring for you. It's like, you know, and I don't I don't want to alarm you or scare you or say any of that stuff because you know, is a, a general reading, um, but it's almost like the universe is is telling the collective Capricorn people to be like, yo, you've been through a lot of shit, man. You've been through a lot. And, and when we go through a lot, we need to take a period, a moment, some time to take care of ourselves, right? Because I truly feel like once you hit 2021, um, especially mid-2021 onward to 2022 and beyond, like there is just going to be like, you're going to be catapulted, pulled into um, this, this energy where like, don't stop, won't stop, can't stop kind of thing. And so the universe is saying like, yo, now, now is the time to chill right? You start off your reading with the page of pentacles. The page of pentacles is always this energy of planting seeds. It is an earth energy of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this page is still learning. There's still information that this page needs to come through. There's still um, knowledge that is required. It, it's, a, it's a beginning of an opportunity of planting a seed so that you can harvest it down the road. So you can't harvest this just yet, right? You got to nurture it. You got to take care of it. And nurturing and taking care of stuff normally has some type of rest involved in it. Right. If we think about it as a garden and we use your career, your life as an, uh, you know, in an analogy with a garden. Yes, you wake up, you take care of your garden, you water it, you feed it, you say nice things to it, you prune it. But then at nighttime, you also sleep. Right. And, and in the evening time, you also have quiet time. Right. The garden needs to rest. And just like you need to rest. The Four of Swords is a card of rest, recuperation, relaxation, retrospection. It is also for me a big sign that some of you might need to go see a therapist. And like, what is patience to a Capricorn? What is slowing down to a Capricorn? Right? And I think that that is part of the lesson here for you, where universe, spirit, divine, whatever you want to call it, is saying to you, hey, take this time now to dive into your um, unconscious 
a little bit more, right? Your unconscious patterns to tap into how those unconscious patterns, beliefs, behaviors might be negatively or negatively impacting or hindering your success in your career, right? With the two of pentacles, you're juggling, right? Lots, lots of stuff that you're going to juggle. Bills, responsibilities, maybe things aren't working out. A lot of you are probably entrepreneurs if you're watching this and you're a Capricorn, right? And so maybe some of you are experiencing the lockdown during the busiest time of the year, which is crazy, especially if you're in Toronto. Um, and that is shitty. Um, and then for others of you, this is about like, you know, looking for your, looking at your ships, right? deciding what ship's got to stay, what to go, figuring out your money, balancing your finances, balancing your finances, your personal life, your love life, you know, yourself. Um, and so there's just a lot up in the air right now. He doesn't have the coins in his hands. It's in the air. And if he doesn't juggle properly, this is whether you're male or female, if he doesn't juggle properly, well, fuck, those coins go down. And then what happens? Right. And so I think that in order for you to keep those things afloat, whatever they look like for you, you need to rest because the four of swords and the hanged man are the bookends to the two of pentacles. OK, and some of you are like, no, and I'm just going to be like, well, um, it's a general reading. So you can get a private with me. Check out the description box below if you want to do a private. OK, um, I do offer uh, live one on one one hours and pre-recorded readings. With the hanged man, this energy is inaction leads to action. That is my slogan for the hanged man because the hanged man sits in contemplation. The hanged man's not worried. The hanged man's not stressed. The hanged man sits there and he's like, yeah, I got to think about this. I got to see this for what it is, not for what I want it to be. I'm going to let the pieces fall where they may so that I understand how to make my next move. Right. Sometimes when we're moving too fast, when we're on that mission to get up that hill too fast, we end up losing sight of the path to how to get up that hill. Right. Now we're using a goat analogy. Right. And then you get stuck and then you're like, shit, now I got to go all the way down so I can climb back up. And so the hanged man's like, no, 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 no. We're not going to do that. We're going to sit here. We're going to analyze. We're going to you know, contemplate, we're going to watch this thing, we're going to see what I need to do, what works, what doesn't work, right? And then like chess, after you've analyzed every possible move that you possibly can, then you're going to make that move. And if you listen, right? And I think a lot of you intuitively are feeling this, like I need to take care of myself. If you listen, then you're blessed with solid new beginnings, solid new opportunities, because your mind has time to clear up from the chitter chatter, the clutter, right? From the distraction, from the noise. Your mind has the opportunity to turn around and be like, oh, okay, okay, now I know how to bring forth this new opportunity. And now it's full steam ahead, right? Full steam ahead into this opportunity, right? It's a choice that you're gonna have to make now because you might actually get multiple offers. There might actually be multiple directions which you can take your business your career path your life your love life whatever that looks like for you but you'll only be able to get the clarity of the ace of pentacles once you understand that the hanged man sits in contemplation Now, if you're interested in a prior reading, like I said, check out the description box below. I also just started a jewelry line called Star Sea Jewels. It's in the description box link um, to purchase. Uh, right now, I'm wearing Venus on this hand, uh, Aphrodite, and on this hand, I have Bologna and Mal Ojo. Okay, so if you're interested in handmade gemstone healing jewelry made by me for you, you can purchase it down there. Let's go take a look and see what... Oh, first, let's do astrology. Astrology for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the month of December. Okay. I'm going to just take those ones because that was three. I always pay attention to, like, I don't think that that's coincidence. I think that they fell here for a reason. Venus. Okay. Venus is Taurus and Libra. Balance and nurturing. Taurus is all about the finer things in life, right? That a Taurus enjoys the abundance, the finer things. Do you want to come up? Okay, so come. Don't cry if you don't want to come. What are you doing? She's here. Okay. Then we got Saris. Nurture. Take care of yourself. Some of you might even have some Saggy energy because these are the two cards that showed up for Saggy as well. Okay. And then the full moon, which says energy peak harvest. 
blessings and achievement, right? Are you going to do the readings with me? Hey. All right, let's see. Okay, and for others of you, this month, you know, I got to tell you, this is a romance card, but I, I'm not getting any romance in your reading, really. I, I am getting that you need to pay attention to red flags. To me, this is not just in your romantic life. This is um, pay attention to all red flags. Patterns, habits, ideas, people around you, relationships, if you're in a, ro a romantic relationship yourself, um, how you're taking care of yourself or how you're not taking care of yourself, okay? So this is really important so you can move forward in your life with solid, stable, new beginnings, okay? That's the only way you're going to be able to do this is if you take the time to pay attention to the red flags. Okay, and everything else that's happening in your life. All right, Capricorn, thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for your like, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. And it is an honor to be of service to you. We'll see you later, Alligator. Peace out. Bye.